Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. Today we're talking about The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson, a 2022 YA horror novel that reboots Carrie by Stephen King. Let's get into the review. Okay, so The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson is a damn good book. Period. Over and done with. Not, not good for YA. Not... Uh, good for a reboot. It is a good damn book. I'm right off the jump, right off the rip. I'm going to give it five stars. For those of you who just want to get in, get my rating, and get out, that's what I'm giving it. I'm giving it five stars, which is higher than I have ever ranked Carrie by Stephen King. And yes, I do prefer this one by a lot. I don't know what else to say. Uh, this one, it... it this retelling, I don't know that it was needed, but it definitely delivered. It's exactly what I wanted and what I hoped for when I read the description. Um, I was I, I wasn't tentative going into this, but I will I will admit I will admit for those of you out there like hey, I didn't think you liked YA. I don't, but this I could not pass this up. And technically speaking. Stephen King's Carrie is a YA novel, at least it is in my my opinion, because it deals with a young adult and their struggles going into or into adulthood or what would have been their uh, adulthood. Maddie Washington is so well drawn. Um, she's the I don't know I guess we could say the twinner for Carrie White if you want to call this another turn of the will. Um, I I do want to say uh, that's the last Stephen King thing I'm going to mention. Uh, other than the fact that this place go, th this book goes to different places, um, so I, I don't want to talk too much about the actual plot, but I will tell you what I liked about the book. Um, with this one, it okay. So he here's the setup: uh, Maddie Washington is a biracial teenager um, who has been passing uh, as white uh, her entire school life. Her daddy is white. Um, her mama, of course, is black, well, was black, and she has come to, well, she lives with her father. It's, it's pretty much the same setup with Carrie, but instead of Carrie being a mousy, chubby, acne-ridden girl, you have Maddie Washington, who has, you know, her hair straightened, all, all that stuff, passing as white, um, until one day at school, the instigating factor here is not a shower, it, it, well, it is a shower. Now that I, I, I just now put two and two together. I apologize. Sometimes I'm slow with the obvious stuff. Um, instead of being in a shower, she gets caught in the rain and her hair freezes up, frizzes up, not freezes, frizzes up. And everybody realizes that she has black in her bloodline. Um, the book makes some very good changes. In fact, I can't think of a, a, a single thing in here that I did not go, that's cool that's yeah if you're going to retell that that's the way uh, you know you should go now there there might be a lot of stumbling and rambling from this point on but uh, all i all you know me if if you watch this channel if you don't watch this channel you're probably going to be like why does anybody watch this dude why has he got so many subs i'm sorry but when i read a book that blows me away i barely have anything to say about it all i can really tell you is go out and buy it you're going to have a good time even if from someone who does not like ya who prefers not to read ya this is a good book but it's a good book without all that baggage <clears throat> i was i was very very thrilled with the ending um i i oh, all everything i want to talk about is a spoiler if you guys want a spoiler review for this book after 31 days of halloween is done please let me know Be, but literally everything i'm sitting here trying to think i have notes written down and everything but i'm trying to think of stuff that i can talk about with this book that will not be a spoiler and one of the, the one of the reasons why i enjoyed this so much is because i did not see all the differences coming in fact just during this review i realized that she did get caught in a shower you know that 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 kind of thing but instead of the you know the shower in the school it was a, it was a rain shower there's a lot of differences here it is worth your time if you are a Stephen King fan 
Uh, there are trigger warnings for uh, racism. Of course, the, the book is built on this and how she is treated differently before and after all that stuff. And her father is an absolute menace, uh, just like Margaret White was with Carrie. But yeah, if you're a fan of Carrie, if you like Carrie, definitely give this book a shot. It's a welcome reboot, a modernization of a really good book. I have never given Carrie more than four stars, but it, it is what it is. You know, it's I've gone anywhere from two to three to four stars over the years. The older I get, the more I like it. But this one, this one right here, yeah, definitely go check it out. Um, and if I say anything else, it's just going to be more re repetition and rambling. So I'm going to get out of here and let you guys go on about your day. But have you read The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson? If you have, I would love to hear what you have to have to say about it down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>